class. Devon, congratulations. We saw a massive outpouring of emotion there. It's fair to say your career was on the line with this game. How does that feel to make it through? Ultimately, it was never, it was never um, a thought in my mind that I would have lost. Um, not, not, not disrespecting Wayne Jones, but I thought that the way I was practicing and the way I prepared, and I came out in the game and I, and I laid 2-0. And I cruised a bit at that point, and I took my foot off, relaxed a bit, and that was that was the the, the mistake. Um, and it's not the first time I've I've, I've been at that point. And um, yeah, I think it's a rookie error, a schoolboy error, if you must. But in the end, I, I felt like I was always in control of the game, and I thought that when I won the ball, I thought if it goes to two all, I, I just need to have a shot at the at the double, at the winning double. And yeah, I, I missed a match dart, and uh, the last one fell in, which was amazing. After seeing a two-set lead slip, what's going through your head in a sudden death leg the way it was? I always feel like um, my, my strongest point is if I throw first in a sudden death leg, that's why I try to win the ball all the time. Not that you're going to get that opportunity, but when it does come, I mean, back in, like, if I, if I look back, my, my five holes, uh, the most, um, most recognisable one was against Peter Wright, where I threw a 12 darter in the, in the final leg, um, and I was leading 5-0, or 5-1, could have been. But I'm saying that in the end, I always back myself to, to, to get first to a double when it comes to it. Because the African water, what do you, you know what I mean? We, we, we survive, us. We, we fight till the end. So yeah, I, I feel like I was, always, I was always in command, but when I missed the first three, I thought it was good. And I apologized to my wife as she was sitting there looking over and just like with a, with a kind of looking. And I, and I just said like, I'm sorry, because I felt like Wayne Jones would have taken it out. But in the end, um, I'm over the moon to, to actually progress. We all know your tour card was on the line if you'd have lost this game. Has it been tough watching other people play before you've got here? I've not even watched any other games. The only ones are obviously the notable, like the, the Rob Cross game, because that was a big one. Uh, Peter Wright game, because he's in my same quarter. Uh, Michael Venko and just to see obviously and then he got thrown wet with um, some alcohol, but in the end, um, it's just the big games that I've watched, really. Uh, in the end, Back of mind, I was always thinking, if I lose this game, I just have to go to Q School and get my tour card back. It's not the, the, the world. It's not the end of the world. Um, I've won it twice before. I can't. I can win it for the third time. And I've been playing really well with myself. Um, Wayne Models assisted me um, from here now, uh, like for the last nine weeks, basically, and he set me up uh, for the world as well. So I, I feel like I'm I'm better than I ever have been, but I'm not really pushed on as I should have and and yeah in the end I feel like the real African warrior Devin Peterson has not yet turned up on the PDC yet. It's Ian White in round two, you won't be able to make those mistakes of switching off against Ian. There's no doubt I won't make that same mistakes it will be take his head off from the start. Um, Ian White's a phenomenal player ranked number nine in the world for the sim simple reason that he's really good um, I've played Ian White probably four times, could have won him thrice. Uh, we played each other in the exhibition match in Alloa, smashed him 4-1. Because uh, I knew that that wasn't an exhibition match, that was more like the prep for the Worlds, because me winning him would have that in his head. Um, and he'll probably watch this and think, yeah, but I didn't have it in my head. But ultimately, we know, like, he's got to have his game on, and I have to get my game on, and the best player will win. Um, the rankings don't matter at this point in time. I mean, Peter Wright ranked third, lost to Tony Alcinas. I don't even know what he's ranked at the minute. Um, and, and, and for me itself, and Tony Alcinas, all respect to him, has always been a top Spanish player, but he's never been, never been a world greatest and um, taking out Peter Wright. So I think that ultimately you look at this, this the world champs and with the shocks that we've had and, and like in past and, and, and what will come still. Um, yeah, it's still anybody's world champs. Like Gary Anderson is favourite, fully understand that. Michael Van Gerwen is ultimately world number one and also favourite. Um, Rob Cross has had a, a, a career that, that he was like a firework, just blasted into space. And then, yeah, this year was, was nothing from Rob Cross, but I think that his last performance was amazing. And I say that with the world champs just brings out the best and, and it shows you who are the who the fighters are and who the survivors are and in the end uh, yeah the one that throws the, the winning double as as easy as it is went. Much as we talk about the draw, you're in that bottom half. You've said that you know Peter Wright has gone out. Do you think you have the game to go and cause problems and maybe get to a world final? One hundred percent. 
Um, whilst I'm still in the tournament, I mean, I would be a fool to not think that I could get to the world final. Um, I know that it would mean that I would have to accomplish uh, getting through Ian White, um, either Richard North or Steve West, and then you have Gerwin Price being the top seed. You know? There's so many players that I've beat already before, so it's not like I can't beat them again. Um, but I know that they're playing a lot better. Um, I need to brush up on my game, but it gives me at least three, four days before I, I play my next game. And, and the way I'm feeling now, winning on that stage with that kind of emotion at that point, um, knowing that the last star is, is the big dar. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like I've, I've already won the world champs, ultimately. Thank you, congratulations. Thanks a lot, man. No.